guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use UI Builder and Codeless Logic to delete objects in Backendless Database. I will continue building on the pages that I have created. Actually, it's just one page, uh, the page that was created in other videos. This one is from the video that de demonstrated how to update an existing object. You can uh, see a link to that video on your screen now. And uh, deletion is going to be a very straightforward process because at this point, with all the logic that we have built up, there is a way to retrieve an object from the database. We can make changes to it. And then what we need to do is just add an ability to delete that object. And for this, let's add another button and uh, select that new button, give it a, uh, assign a label and let's say delete object is going to be the title. Let's also change the color of this button to make it bright red because it will indicate something that, uh, represents deletion. So now we have this bright red button. And uh, uh, let's just switch to the logic part of this button. Click on this little icon when the button is selected and add the on click event. Uh, and then to delete an object from the database, if you go to the back endless section and select the data API category, in here you will find a block that says delete table object. Drag it out and put it into the click event. Type in the name of the table. It will be person. And then in here, you see this connector. It says object or object ID. And uh, the way the codeless block works is that you can specify provide either the entire object or just the object ID value as a string. Uh, before we go any further, let's take a look at the object in the database. So here's our person table. This is the object. You will see that there is a column called object ID. And object ID is something that the backendless database assigns. It's a, it's a globally unique value that is always a string. The, and backendless automatically assigns it to every single object that is created in the database. Uh, it's going to be beneficial to add a few more objects because as you work through this tutorial, uh, as objects are deleted, then you may just end up with a blank table, which is not going to be good, uh, or maybe good if you just want to try out and see what kind of errors you're going to experience. But let's just add a few more people here. Let's say it's going to be Dave, age uh, 30, and let's add Jessica. So now we have three uh, objects. And as you can see, there is object ID for every one of them. So back to codeless logic in uh, if you want to have uh, object deletion by object ID, you would need to know this value. Uh, and the, in the logic for the delete button, the object that we will be deleting already sits in page data. And we can obtain this object using the get property block and it's going to be person object. And I will review one more time where this value comes from and it's page data. So that's one way to do this. Another way to do this, I'm going to select delete table and then copy and paste it. And what you can do as an alternative is something like this. So you will be getting object ID. So these two blocks will end up doing exactly the same thing. But let's review where this person object comes from. So here in the UI builder, if we go and look into the logic for the first button, you will see that we retrieve first object from the database and we place it into page data, which is a special shared space that is accessible by all UI components on your page. And in here, we pass the actual object and it's bound to the person object property in page data. And then whenever we need to access this object to delete it, then we go straight to page data and we retrieve person object. This is going to be an alternative solution that does exactly the same thing with one additional step. So in here, this component, this block retrieves the person object from page data. And then this one obtains object ID value from the person object. A little bit more complex, but, uh, it does exactly the same thing for the reason that in here we specify object and in here we specify object ID. You can try either one, they will do exactly the same thing. Now, 
if we go and run this page. And I will make this window a little bit smaller and it will be beneficial to switch to the back end so we, you can see exactly the database and how it changes whenever we delete objects. Let's retrieve the first one and the first one is Joe. So click delete object and as you can see Joe is gone and I got a, uh, a badge, not a badge, I, I accomplished this task in my missions. But uh, if we retrieve another object again, now it is Dave and we can delete it. Now Dave is gone and then get another person object, that's Jessica, delete and Jessica is gone and then the database is empty. If we try to click now, nothing happens because there is no first object anymore. This is it when it comes to deleting objects in a database. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching this video and as always, happy codeless coding.